students how are you all welcome to the platform of dr bhatia medical coaching institute and egurukul i am dr ramya sri i teach of 6 and gynecology so i have come up with a high yielding mcqs and previous year questions in this video so let us see the question so development of recombinant hpv vaccine is based on which viral protein so this is one of the important previous year mcq which you got guys so this is a previous year mcq which you have got and yes most of the time students mistake it for e6 e7 and all but none of us can go wrong on this because this is not repeated once it has been repeated many times previously so most important the recombinant hpv vaccine is based on which viral protein it is based on let us see all the all the viral proteins and then come back to the answer Now, most important, HPV does not cause only uh, cervical cancer. HPV causes cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, vulval cancer, genital warts that is condyloma acuminata, HPV six and eleven, anal cancer, oropharyngeal cancer, and penile cancer. That is why HPV vaccination should be given both male and female. not only for females it also should be given for males also so hpv causes cervical vaginal vulval genital warts anal cancer oropharyngeal cancer and penile cancer right now regarding the proteins so e1 helps in the viral dna replication e2 helps in viral transcription dna replication and segregation of viral genes E4 helps in genome amplification, viral maturation, and release of virions. E5 augments the activity of E6 and E7. So for the cancer to develop, most important genes are E6 and E7. So if you can't remember E1, E2, E4, and all E, it, E5, it's fine. Mainly remember the E6 and E7 ka action. E6. binds and decreases the tumor suppressor protein 53 gene and that and that's how it inhibits the apoptosis that is the programmed cell death so normally whenever there is a there is a infection getting attached what does the cell do or whenever there is some abnormality in the cell cell will cell this is a very important in pathology right so cell will automatically go lies in and do undergo programmed cell death it will undergo programmed cell death right that we call it as apoptosis so this e6 binds and degrades the tumor suppressor protein p53 and inhibits the apoptosis e7 binds and decreases degrades degrades the tumor suppressor protein p p rb gene so rb gene prevents the excess multiplication or abnormal multiplication of the cells but as e7 suppresses the rb gene so tumor suppression also is lost so e6 suppresses the p53 e7 suppresses the rb gene and that is how that is how cervical cancer gets initiated now see late genes mein l1 it is a major capsid protein attachment to the cell surface receptors highly immunogenic and induces the production of neutralizing antibodies against the virus so normally this l1 gene itself helps us helps our cervical cells to produce antibodies against the hpv virus but the natural immunity which we get due to hpv infection is very short lasting and is not able to uh, uh, counteract the repeated hpv infections so that is why what do we do is we take this immunogenic potentiality of l1 we amplify it as a vaccine and give them understood what is the concept behind the vaccine so as the l1 has immunogenic potential we are taking that l1 protein and we are amplifying it so that we can get a better coverage of the immunogenicity so that hpv infection can be suppressed so hpv vaccine is a virus like particle so it is not a virus it is just a virus like particle which is a purified l1 protein which is a purified l1 protein so it is an empty shell empty shell 
it does not contain viral genetic material or live biological product and it is non infectious and it is non infectious so it is a virus like particle which is a purified l1 protein it forms the empty shells it does not contain viral genetic material or live biological product and it is non infectious so the different vaccines which are available see uh, these are the three vaccines which are available cervarix gardasil and gardasil 9 to be frank cervarix is a outdated vaccine nowadays we mainly use gardasil ya gardasil 9 itself we don't use cervarix nowadays so cervarix is as for only females 9 to 25 years and uh, it 11 to 12 days 11 to 12 years is the recommended age of vaccination in us 12 to 13 in uk the hpv strains it it covers is 16 and 18 it mainly protects against cervical cancer and free malignant lesions of cervix so gardasil gardasil is used both in females and males 9 to 26 is the age group for which you can give but very recently they have mentioned you can give it up to 45 years so the age of vaccination is 11 to 12 years or 12 to 13 gardasil mainly contains hpv 6 11 16 18 whereas gardasil 9 contains 611 1618 31 33 45 52 58 see normally 6 and 11 are associated with genital warts 16 and 18 are highly carcinogenic and associated with cervical cancer 31 and 33 are associated with cin so rest 45 52 58 are the additional which you have to remember and these not only protect from these protect from anal cervical vulval vaginal cancer and even the premalignant lesions so they protect from warts vaginal vulvar cervical anal intraepithelial neoplasias okay so these are im injections which are given at a dose of 0.5 ml 0 1 to 2 months and 6 months three doses now what are the updates in this vaccination so updates is we are going to have our own vaccine so what is our own vaccine indian origin vaccine so indian origin vaccine is cervavac cervavac is introduced by serum institute of india which is a quadrivalent vaccine which is a quadrivalent vaccine so mainly it is the indian origin vaccine next nowadays we have something called as who sage criteria so who sage tells for the girls between 9 to 6 15 years instead of giving three doses give one to two doses give one to two doses that will increase the coverage of vaccination and 70% of the women will be vaccinated so instead of three doses he is telling give one to two doses to increase the co- coverage of the vaccination so that is the also update that is called who sage committee ka decision so girls between 9 to 15 years one to two doses is enough so this is everything about the hpv vaccination so if you go back to the question if you go back to the question so development of recombinant hpv vaccination is based on which viral protein it is based on l1 it is based on l1 viral protein right so a very good update is the cervavac so cervavac is indian origin so you know definitely that will help us to reduce the price of the vaccine will reduce so it is a quadrivalent vaccine which contains hpv 16 18 and 6 and 11 16 18 6 and 11 okay so to take home e6 and e7 are mainly the pathogenic uh, uh, pathogenic the viral proteins whereas l1 is used for recombinant hpv vaccine okay so this is about the hpv vaccination so here is the mcq for the hpv vaccination right okay all the best guys keep studying this is the most crucial time period any topics which you want me to you know uh, send it as a youtube video where which will help you in your revision and which you want to know or any mnemonics which you want me to make and send you so please feel free to message me in the comment box so that i will do that and i'll send you all guys right I'll see you all in the next video guys thank you